Since 1997, Clayton Utes has helped to shape what best practice looks like in pro bono. And now we have become the first law firm in Australia to provide more than half a million hours of pro bono assistance. Of course, it's more than just about hours. Pro bono is about what we can achieve for our clients. It's about making the rule of law a reality, about making the legal system accessible. It's about assisting community organisations and charities to help address disadvantage. It's about fixing injustice. Pro bono is fundamental to who Clayton Utes is as a firm. And more lawyers at Clayton Utes do pro bono work than any other law firm in this country. And we're immensely proud of that. It enables us to fulfil our obligations and the privileged position in which we hold. And it enables us to be the firm we want to be and frankly, to be the people we want to be. It's part of the assessment every year for each and every one of our lawyers. We take it into account in determining whether one of our lawyers is going to be promoted. Um, and it's also something we take into account in determining bonuses. Um, and what's even more important is that our people really love it. It's one of the key ingredients to keeping our people engaged um, and to retaining talented lawyers who tell us it's one of the reasons why they stay at our firm. We didn't invent pro bono, but what changed for us was we stopped thinking that pro bono was something that our lawyers should do in their spare time after hours. We made it real work, something which we expected everybody to do as part of their everyday legal practice. We also started in 1997 at a time of really significant legal aid budget cuts. And that legal aid and community law funding crisis continues today. It's about collaboration. Our success is built on our collaboration with legal aid, the community legal sector, pro bono clearing houses and our collaboration with colleagues at other firms. But it's got to be about access to justice. Across Australia, most of the pro bono work is done for charities, not for low income people. We need to shift that balance. One of the rewards of this job is being constantly surprised by what we're able to achieve. We've worked on things that we never expected we would be involved in, things we never thought we could be involved in. Through our practice, we've shown thousands of lawyers that doing pro bono work is an inherent part of their professional responsibility. For example, our alumni have gone on to become pro bono thought leaders, championing pro bono at other firms and at in-house legal teams. They've also gone on to work as legal aid and community legal centre lawyers and as general counsel for major charities. In our next 500,000 hours, We'll continue to assist people who might otherwise fall through the cracks. We'll push for a better resourced legal assistance sector. We will continue to work with the sector, with our colleagues and with policy makers. We'll keep developing stronger partnerships, better more effective outreach and more work in regional Australia. At their heart, I think the next 500,000 hours will be a continuation of what we've done. Helping vulnerable and low income people to get access to justice.